Hey, so a question that comes up often for me um, with sellers is uh, how do I prepare for the spring market? And of course, um, you know, the, the traditional linear approach to that is, you know, we would pick a timeline, um, you know, when do you want to be moved by? And we would, you know, back up the marketing time and, and then the time that you would, you know, take to get your home prepared. But my advice really, and the trend we've been seeing the last couple of years for, um, you know, how do I prepare for the spring market is don't wait for the spring market. Um, I mean, we've seen a market over the last couple of years that's extremely active. Um, you know, we have a lot of things feeding the market right now, uh, be it, you know, work from home movement so that that migration from uh, the city um, north, because people are not uh, necessarily um, having to work in their offices anymore. Um, and so, you know, we're navigating that process um, as well. Record low interest rates that um, are, you know, rumored to continue to stay low. And so we've been seeing um, a consistency in sales through the market. It used to be um, that the best time to sell a house was in the spring and the second best time to sell a house was in the fall. That's not necessarily the case anymore. We are, um, we're seeing that the, you know, selling or, you know, slash buying trend, um, we're seeing that as pretty consistent all year. And of course, you know, there's things like, uh, like Christmas and holidays that, you know, there are, you know, certainly um, e exceptions to that and, um, you know, some consistency around that year to year. But for the most part, um, we're seeing that the sales trend is continuing right through the year. So, um, you know, how can you get best prepared for the spring market? Don't wait till spring. Um, if you'd like to chat with me a little bit more about this, about the market, where it's at currently, how that pertains to your home, I'd love to connect with you.